All right, let's move to this story now. And the battle for the Amazulu royal house kingship continues. Senior members of the royal family opposed to King Misuzulu Katsweletini insist they don't recognize him as their leader. They held a media briefing earlier ahead of the king's traditional ceremonies that are going to take place this weekend. Senior reporter Sipa Mandla Gorge covering that story for us. Joining us now, Sipa really thought that this issue was basically sorted out. Clearly it is not at all. Talk to me about what happened at this briefing today. It will take a couple of years, if at all, it will be sorted out. So it's far from being over. Today's media briefing was called by senior princes, the royal family members who call themselves the core of the ruling family. They say that core includes of... Uh, the late King Peguzulu's children, and they are the surviving siblings of the late Amazulu King, that is Welitini Kapeguzulu. So three princes showed up for that media briefing today. It was Prince Mbonisi, Prince Volindlela, and Prince Matuba. They say they wanted to air their views and to tell the nation that they are being suffocated, they are being prevented from running the royal affairs because they accuse the traditional prime minister, that is Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi, of not giving them space and not allowing them to deal with family matters when it comes to the issue of the succession. They say they see all the latest developments, but they have not been included in all that has been happening in the royal family yet. They should be the ones who should be running these processes and the royal protocols to ensure that everything is done according to the book. Let's take a listen to what Prince Mbonisi had to say, basically calling on King Misuzu Lugazuelitini to stop calling himself a king, saying that issue is not done and dusted just yet. Into a way to Melinias Uti, Lolufa, Lunum Telela, a tenini. Nying an ink or slow Missouzul. Uma Nying and Bella, Ebucatale, Ubcosi, Bagobo, Agaeg Ukti Deswa, Abandu, be politic. Why is Mrs. Zulu not yet on the throne, Sipa? Well, he is on the throne as we speak, but according to some royal family members, they say not everything was followed to the T. They say the processes and royal protocols were not followed. Remember that King Misuzulu has been recognized by the government. In fact, he was meant to be coronated on the 28th of May, and that coronation was postponed due to the devastating floods in Guazulu Natal. Even the provincial government has recognized him. President Sir Ramaphosa has recognized him. The only thing that is left now is just this formal government led public coronation in order for him then to be fully recognized but in terms of him being recognized by government all of that has taken place president sir ramaphosa has recognized him and some members of the zulu royal family say the issue is done and dusted the king is on the throne however those who are opposing him they are saying no the process to nominate and select the next king of amazulu was not led or done by the members of the royal family the court All right, we seem to have uh, lost uh, that line. I'll tell you what we're going to do, Sipa. We're going to play that, uh, that piece that you were going to throw to. So let's listen to that, and hopefully we can reconnect with you for the final question. The process has to be followed, and our guidelines legislated by our government to say the core family members must sit down, meet and discuss, and then come up with the name of that particular person. That was not done. So we didn't follow the process with these guidelines by our government. Until such time, we meet the entire royal family members, the core members. That is their responsibility. Responsibility 
to do that part of the work. Sipa, talk to us about when the coronation is going to happen. Uh, uh, my understanding, and, and you of course know more about this, is that some of these ceremonies that the King is going to go through this weekend are quite a part of that process. Um, and then what is the situation regarding the ongoing court cases? No formal date has been communicated as we speak in terms of the coronation. There were indications that uh, the king was anticipating to write to President Sir Ramaphosa and ask for possible dates that the president can be available so that the coronation can take place. But we also understand that it will take a bit of time if you look at logistics that need to be put together for that coronation. So now that it was postponed, on the 28th of May. We do not have a new date yet. We are still waiting to get that date, but we do understand that plans are in place. They are back-to-back -back meetings to work on that, and uh, obviously many people will be eager to know when is that coronation, but these upcoming ceremonies this weekend will perhaps shed more light because there will be what is known as the ritual hunt whereby the king and some members of the royal family will have to go hunting in Isizulu. It's called even though the other side of the family says all these ceremonies that will be performed this coming weekend were performed last year. You cannot have the same event and the same ceremony twice. So they have called these upcoming ceremonies as comic in a way. So what will happen this coming weekend? King Misu Zulu will be leading a delegation of uh, royal family members who will go hunting. When they come back, there will be what is known as the cleansing ceremony known as Ishambo in Isizulu. After that, it's expected that the king will enter the crown. That is very significant because in a way that paves the way for this government-led public coronation. There is an expectation that once he enters the crown, after that, there will be an indication when the coronation will be. However, as those plans are unfolding, some unhappy royal family members say they are continuing with their legal action. They have applied for a leave to appeal the judge and the decision of the Peter Maritzburg High Court, they want basically the Supreme Court of Appeal to grant them an ear to listen to them. They are still of the view that the issue of nomination and selection of the king is not done and dusted yet, and that the Peter Maritzburg High Court erred in saying King Misuzulu is the rightful heir to the throne. Let's take a listen to the legal representative of those right. who are unhappy, and that is Eric Mabuza. To respond to the question that has been asked, uh, there are broadly three uh, types of uh, court cases that are in court. Uh, the first case is, is a review application in Pretoria where the, my clients, the members of the ruling family, are, are challenging the decision by the president to to recognize Prince uh, Mrs. Zulu as Isilo. That case will still take some time to, to conclude, we estimate six to eight months before it's it's ready to go to court. It's just and that's just an estimation. The second kind of case that is in court is in the Supreme Court of Appeal, where uh, again my clients and others are are applying for leave to appeal to challenge the, the decision of, of the outcome in the Peter Marisberg court uh, where, re regarding the coronation uh, process. And the third, the third case that has come up and which is quite uh, challenging, it's a case that has been brought by Judge uh, Jerome Gwenya, where he is asking the court to accept the will of Isilo, to accept and condone the lack of formalities in the will of Isilo. Well, thank you very much for that update. Our senior reporter, Sipaman Lagobe. Still to come this evening.